Okay, so we ended off, we got everything wired together. Um, we have our view, which is these three panels, and their text input areas, and their OK buttons, and their text areas, and um, and we have our clear messages and our message count, and then we have our mediators that are listening for this OK button to get clicked. And then we have our models, which are storing the information that is in the views, and it's saving it, which is dispatching an event. And that event is saying that, yes, the information has been saved. You can go ahead and find that information in my messages array. And then the mediator is listening for that to happen, and it's re-updating the view. So the mediator is kind of that guy in the middle. He's the middleman. He says, OK, view, everything's good to go. I'm going to update you. And then the model is um, dispatching that event. So the mediator is saying, OK, Thanks, model. He doesn't even talk. He just only talks to the view. And um, so he doesn't specifically dispatch, his, dispatch events to the model. He may dispatch an event, but it's not going to be directly to anyone. He only talks directly with the view. So now let's just update our message count, and we'll finish this off. I hope this was helpful. So we have um, our message. Um, counter mediator is going to listen for all things and update all things for the, um, the message counter. So we're going to say message counter mediator. And the message counter should have been called message counter view, or it should have just been called message counter. You got to pick one or the other. So um, this will mediate or finish. Okay, so our message counter mediator. Uh, I'll get rid of this super and leave the constructor blank. And again, we'll override public function uh, on register. And right away, when this gets registered, we're going to say message count. And we're just going to set the, the actual text of the message counter to zero just so it appears that there are no messages. And then um, we're going to listen for two things. One, we're going to listen for them to press clear messages, and we're going to clear all the messages. And we're going to also listen for messages to be updated, and we'll update our counter. So event map dot map listener, and we'll listen for view dot clear all. Now, we don't have the view yet, so we need to make sure that we um, put it up here and we're calling the inject um, meta tag public var view and that is of message counter now one thing we didn't do is we didn't um, connect our message counter view to our message counter mediator so we got to go over to the communicator context and under the section where we have views we'll call mediator map dot map view and we'll say um, the name of our view communicate oh sorry it's not communicator it's the message uh, counter and the name of the mediator that we want to hook it up to message counter mediator okay now they're officially hooked up and you can see as soon as you hook it up events um, errors that you would have would start coming up here it's kind of magical in that way. Uh, so we're going to call clear all because we actually have a reference to the view. And we're going to listen for a, a regular old mouse event dot click. And once that happens, we're going to clear all messages. Now, in order to clear the messages, we have to have access to that data. Let's create that. Let's make it private. I might have been a little inconsistent with that during this tutorial and but that's okay you get the point so now we're going to clear all messages but in order to do that we have to have access to the communicator model which contains all those messages messages to clear so we're going to create an instance of that communicator model which will contain only the messages that have been put in there because it is a singleton which is super awesome in my opinion so we're going to call communicator model 
dot messages, which is an array, and this is where we're actually setting the messages, and that's going to be equal equal to a blank array, and we're actually dispatching an event when an array gets set, and it's not an array collection or anything like that, but we do get to dispatch an event when an array gets set, which you can't do with just a regular array. You could do that with an array collection, but this is um, pretty cool because as soon as that um, communicator model gets set, the messages get cleared, and clear and the um, message updater event will get dispatched. So we'll call event map and we'll now listen for that message event. And it should be, and who's dispatching it? Again, it's the event dispatcher. And it's going to be a message event dot messages updated. And we'll just call um, update counter because when the um, messages get updated we want to make sure that we have the right number of messages in the counter and that's a message event it could be just a regular event because nothing is happening with it but now we'll update the counter so we can say view because we have an instance of the view dot message counter dot text is equal to the communicator model dot message count and then we'll just say to string because it's an unsigned integer and that should update our messages so again what we did here was we connected the view to the mediator and that's kind of the idea with robot legs and anything that the view does um, we can then communicate that to anybody else but we don't communicate with them directly because that would be tight coupling we want to communicate just by dispatching events. In this case, we didn't dispatch any events from here, but we did listen to a general event from the communicator model. Now, the cool thing is, is that you can listen to other models. That's not off, uh, off limits. You don't want to listen to other views because one mediator only talks with one view, but you can listen to any model you want because you want to be able to get any data. And because it's a singleton, you'll get only that information. So let's run this and see what happens. So now we have our message count because when the um, when it was registered, we got that. Okay, message count. So hello world, click OK, and our message count gets updated. And we can enter something here. Hi, my name is John, and we click OK. And that gets updated, message count two. And we'll just do one other. This is from Sam. And we'll click OK. And now we can clear our messages by clicking clear. And that dispatches an event. And the view automatically gets updated. So this is uh, just a review, just a quick um, summary of robot legs.